Raven's Raven that's hot. Why are showers so sensitive? I'm sure you've had the experience of turning your own shower handle just a fraction of an inch and the water goes from freezing to scalding to freezing again. Why? Why, accursed machinery, are you like this? Well, the answer is fickle human physiology and lazy engineering. Now let's try this again. <laughs> Nipples of Neptune, that's cold! Now entering the facility. If we want to fully understand why showers seem so sensitive, we first must understand why you are so sensitive. And no, I don't mean sensitive like spending enough money to end world hunger on a company just because some people don't like your poorly worded memes. No, I don't mean anything like that. I mean your actual ability to sense temperature. Inside of your skin sit so-called thermoreceptors, parts of sensory neurons that respond to hot and cold stimuli in two different regimes, specifically in between 15 and 45 degrees Celsius and then outside of these two hot and cold values. Inside of this range sits your so-called thermoneutral zone, where you don't feel particularly hot or cold. Now the important thing here is, is that studies have shown that you don't have to get very hot or cold at all to jump outside of this neutral zone and feel hot or cold, just two degrees hotter or half a degree colder, and you might jump out of the shower. You are sensitive. Sensitive? Like wanting to be able to shout fire in a crowded theater so you buy the theater? <laughs> no, Arya. No one's that sensitive. I mean, imagine spending all that money on just kind of a self-aggrandizing ego project because you value some things. Hmm. So we know that you are sensitive, but why is your shower? Well, the reason is simple. Most showers have extremely simple plumbing. Behind your shower at home are probably two pipes, hot and cold water coming in together to mix at a right angle, the ratio of which is controlled by your shower valve, and what comes out of the shower head in a thermodynamically perfect world is in thermodynamic equilibrium. What is that? Don't worry, baby birds. I'll feed you. Daddy will feed you. Mm -mm. Here I have two equal parts of water, one around 200 degrees Fahrenheit and one around 40. Now, thermoequilibrium sounds very complicated, baby birds, but it's not if you start imagining atoms, molecules, and their motion as little balls. Behold, my balls. Now, something that really helped my conceptual understanding of temperature was the fact that all temperature is, is just the motion of atoms and molecules, their kinetic energy, their momentum. Something that is moving fast is going to be hotter than something that is moving slow. And because this is related to momentum and momentum is conserved, if a fast moving thing hits a slow moving thing, the result is some kind of motion in between as energy is transferred. And so, if I put some of this cold water into this very hot water in equal parts, the result, after a little bit of these nanoscopic interactions, billions and billions and trillions and trillions of them, is water that's now warm enough for me to touch at a thermal equilibrium right in between the two temperatures. Controlling thermal equilibrium is what your shower does decently. It controls how much hot water mixes with how much cold water, determining where that nice middle point actually is. It's the implementation of this for human skin that's the issue. Oh, hey there, little guy. Who's Ugh, handsome, don't be, huh? don't be weird, Big Kyle. I mean, I guess I'm, it's me though. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Having trouble finding purpose and meaning? Do you want to talk to a professional who's ready to listen? Then it's time to get BetterHelp. BetterHelp is professional counseling done securely with a licensed professional therapist online. After the service assesses your needs, get matched for weekly phone or video sessions with your expert therapist. Log into your account anytime to send the messages and change your counselor at any time for free. Don't sit in a waiting room. Don't get stuck with the only therapist in your area. Don't pay any more than you have to because you have access to financial aid. 
If you want to start achieving your brain goals, if you want to start living a happier life, try going to betterhelp.com slash Kyle Hill to get 10% off your first month. Look, I have not one, but two people in my life who I love very much who use BetterHelp every week. I cannot say it's for everyone, but it might be for you. It's time to start acknowledging that mental health is health. Make it better with BetterHelp. Were you talking to Big Kyle again? My therapist says Big Kyle can't hurt me. Now let's look again at basic shower plumbing. For most people with their sources of water and their water heaters, you have pretty dang hot water coming into the hot side and cold water coming into the cold side. Now when your shower handle is in the middle position, equal parts hot and cold are mixing, coming to thermal equilibrium as we demonstrated in this case 32 degrees Celsius. But remember, 32 degrees Celsius in this case is not yet activating your, ooh, this is nice and warm, I'm never gonna get out and go to work and be an adult, receptors. So right here, is the first problem with showers. In the middle is where I think most people start out when they get inside a shower that they're unfamiliar with and they assume this is not too hot or too cold, except it isn't. Remember, like a toxic billionaire come tax time, you are sensitive. Most people prefer a temperature hotter than this middle point. So right off the bat, all of this shower handle real estate is useless, as is all of this area you could put your shower handle because it's either too cold or it's hot enough to burn you. And it gets even worse than this depending on the design of your particular shower. This is starting to look like the memes, right? Why? Using my own shower as a reference point, you have basically 180 degrees of temperature control. As we said, most of it is useless, and with a little geometry and accounting for general 38 degrees Celsius preference, I think it'd be fair to say that really only a few degrees of a shower handle's arc is the sweet spot. Now my shower handle is around 10 centimeters long. Using a little bit more geometry, that means that when I hop in the shower with my sweet naked body, I have to find a zone that's less than an inch of handle motion. Less than an inch between freezing and on fire. And you have even less than this if your shower handle is dummy thick and it's hard to know where the center of that dang thing even is. This is why it's so hard to find a comfortable temperature in the shower. Most of the control you have is actually useless, the area you're trying to find is smaller than you think, and your skin is very sensitive, especially when we're talking about water, which is very, very good at conducting heat into or out of human skin. So Kyle, what's the solution? Well, you can get fancy with time and or money and install a so-called thermostatic shower, which heats up water to a specific temperature before mixing it. Or you could actually manually turn down the temperature on your water heater. With less of a range between extreme temperatures, you actually have more control with your valve. Or you can do like I do, lab coat. <laughs> Until next time. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, see videos early, see behind the scenes bloopers and photos, get private members only live streams with me, and join our official Discord where I talk about those live streams, oh, you can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on Aria here in every single video where I think it makes sense. And as you can see, there's literally hundreds and over a thousand, I, uh, how could I even pass this kind of, now when I say lazy engineering, I don't mean that the engineers of original showers or, or plumbers were intentionally making something bad, it was just convenience. Just, you have hot water coming in and cold water coming in and a valve that controls the ratio of what is mixing or not. It just happens to be a problem, but not enough of a problem such that the entire industry fixes it because it works for enough people that we don't have to redesign all showers and then you can charge people for more if they want a fancy shower. So it's, it's like a evolutionary pressure for showers that's not quite enough to change the whole population. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, come on.